with all the NIL deals, things have gotten pretty crazy. And LSU quarterback Miles Brennan announced he is going to be stepping away from football after five seasons with the Tigers. But apparently he can still reap the benefits from his time on the team, including his NIL deals. Uh, he had deals with about five or six companies here. And despite stepping away from football, he still gets his money because NIL deals can't be based off of performance. Russ, I see you making that face. Yeah. Uh, you want to give me your thoughts on this? If I'm one of those businesses, I'm a little uh, frustrated this morning. Uh, you invest money into somebody. I, I'm not going to say a kid because, you know, as soon as NIL came in, it's like, all right, you're no longer amateur. Like, you're a professional here, and you're going to be treated like one. I'd be trying to recoup some of that money, right? Like, to, to give you this, in, I'm investing in you, your name, your image, your likeness, uh, to promote my product and the, the way you got your notoriety, being football, and we thought he would be the starting quarterback for the LSU Tigers this year. You're not going to be doing that. Uh, that hurts that promotion. Like, the, the attention that you were going to get from playing football, you're not going to have. Uh, and so I'd be talking to my attorney and seeing how I could recoup some of that money that I might have paid you on the front end. Okay, I understand why they could be frustrated here because they're like, yes, we thought that you were going to be playing for the team this year, and that's part of the deal of signing him. But listen, this guy, he played five seasons with the, the LSU Tigers. He is very injury prone. He missed all the 2021 season. He was competing for that quarterback position. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he went into this of like, oh, I'm going to try to screw this team over and get or these businesses over and get my money. I think it was one of those things he had to have, you know, one of those decisions as many coll collegiate athletes have to go through. Am I going to be doing this beyond college? Like I'm in my I'm getting older. I'm towards the end of my college career. I have to make that choice. I've got to think about the next step in my life. And he said that in his announcement. Yeah. But I mean, as far as marketability wise, like marketing wise, this kid has 87,000 followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. The business, they're not completely screwed. Like this guy is still has a lot of influence. He's still marketable. He has that reach down there in Baton Rouge. And we know those fans, they love their football players down there. So I think they can still get um, what they were wanting out of him maybe not as much as if he was a player but I think yeah I, I don't think it's as big of a deal but I think this is exposing a lot of the flaws in the NIL it deals it we've described this as the wild west because there's a lack of regulation I think the NCAA kind of knew stuff like this was going to happen and there although I don't think this is an example of him taking advantage of it um, because he's making the right decision for him but I think this opens the doors for some players to possibly in the future take advantage of the uh, lack of um, Regulation and, and we and talked to Luke Fedlum a couple months back talking about these various loopholes that people are finding. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to need the smart people in college sports like Luke Fedlum to kind of figure some of these situations out. But th these weren't small businesses that he was working with. Like Raising Cane's was on that mm -hmm. list. We love some Cane's. I, we love that. <laughs> Smoothie Shout King. Out to Shout King. out to Smoothie King. They were on that list as well. So, right. yeah, I think there's some very smart people for some of these businesses getting phone calls today. <laughs>